Good morning, everyone. I'm Becky, and I'm one of the science educators here at the Children's Museum. And I'm joined with my daughter, MJ. Hello. And like a lot of you, we're at home this week, and the museum is closed. And one of the things we love to do as a family is we love to do science, don't we? Yeah. Uh -huh. We do. So we thought we would bring you a science experiment that we've done at home that you can do with things you probably have around your kitchen. So we're going to take a moment or two and let people join us. While we're waiting, I wanted to introduce you all to Spike. Now Spike is the plant, not the planter. Uh, some of you commented on Spike in the promo photo. Spike is my office plant. He's home with me for the next two weeks, but he's, he's kind of our science mascot, so he's going to be joining us today. So with that, we're going to go ahead and get started. And Mary Jane or MJ, what experiment are we going to do today? We are going to be doing exploding bags. Exploding baggies. So this is super fun. What you're going to need is you're going to need baking soda. You're going to need vinegar. I'm using white vinegar because we've colored some of it, but you could use apple cider vinegar. Just eat vinegar. I love apple cider. And we're going to need baggies, zip top baggies. We are going with the sandwich size. They work a little bit better. Um, if you want to, you can color your vinegar with just some food coloring. We did that at home before we came today. And you're gonna need a clothespin. Now, some people said, I don't have clothespins at home. You could use a binder clip. You could use a twist tie. And you, um, we're just gonna use it to cinch the bag, but these work really well. And then you're also gonna need a tablespoon measure and some sort of like a half cup or a cup measure. So, ready to get started? Yep. All right, the first thing we're going to do is add our vinegar. So Mary, MJ, if you could hold the bag for me. We are gonna add three quarters of a cup of vinegar. We played around with the amounts yesterday and found this worked really, really well. So I'm going to add the vinegar. Smell that yeah, vinegar does have a funny smell. But thankfully we're work. outside. And we should say we're doing this outside because it's kind of messy. It just works better outside. So three quarters of a cup of I like this vinegar. Color. I like the color. I do, I like the color too. So next what we're going to do is cinch the baggie together and okay we gotta turn around Let's so we can see it yeah <laughs> so we're gonna clip it and this is just to keep the vinegar in the bottom of the bag and this is where i said you wanted to you could use a binder clip or something can you hold that for me yep, now i'm going to get our baking soda and we are going to add three tablespoons of baking soda to the top of the bag so here's one, here's two, and here's our third one. There we go, I'll take this. Okay. Now the next step is really important. You wanna make sure you completely seal your bag. Can you hold the bottom for me, there we go. I think we're getting a little of a reaction. Yeah, so yeah, we didn't quite get tight enough, all right. It's hard to do when your fingers are cold. <laughs> it is really cold. It's All right, cold. so we're having a little, a little technical issues with our baggie here. There we go. Oh, that was oh. Now, one thing I'm, I'm learning here, we got some baking soda in our zipper part, so. All right. You don't want to have that. Our, oh. I got it. Like I said, oh. technical difficulties with the baggie. Hang on, folks. <laughs> I think All right, I think. Good. I think we're closed. All right, so now comes the fun part. We're gonna set this on the ground. And what MJ is going to do is she's gonna pull off the clothespin, give it a good shake, and stand back. There it goes, woo! And if you have a spray bottle, you can spray some bottle on it to stop the reaction stop if you want to. But I kinda like the reaction going because it's kinda foamy. So. We talked about reaction. So what do you mean by reaction, MJ? It's basically a chemical reaction. So it's a chemical reaction. So we have the baking soda and the vinegar, which when they combine, they, it make, a chemical reaction. they make a chemical reaction. And what that is, 
is when you have one, two more substances that combine, their atoms start rearranging. And you know and you, you get a different thing. And you get a different thing. And, and you, how you know um, you have a chemical reaction is because it gives off something. Um, and in this case, it gave off carbon dioxide, or the gas that made the bag blow up. And um, we also got the foam stuff, so that's really fun. Stuff. Yeah, so we got the foam stuff because of that carbon dioxide. So, like MJ said, we have a chemical reaction. Something is released. It could be a gas in this case, or in some chemical reactions, it's even heat. Now, this is different from a phase change. So, if you have ice, it's solid water. And you can melt it and, and get you get water. And if you and if you like get the water really hot, then you get um, steam. And you can also once you have that steam, you can condense it into water. As then, long as you keep it in one place. Exactly. So then it would float off. Your exactly. Face. So that's so a phase change is different from a chemical reaction, which is what we saw here. Now, we like to say that all good scientists should do. Their experiments more than once because it, then it would because if you don't you don't know if it would be a fluke or something went wrong exactly and so you want to always make sure that you did everything right so that's why you do it twice so as mj said we're gonna do it again yay and this time i'm going to i got this you got that you can just set that aside so this time we're going to do the same thing you want to hold the bag? Yep. So, and we'll do this again too in case people are just joining us. So, um, if you're just joining us, we have a sandwich zip top baggie, and we're adding colored fruit, not, not colored fruit cookie, colored um, vinegar. Yes. We're so, using white, we're using white vinegar, but you right. can use pretty much any color. So, as long as it's vinegar. Yeah, it has to be vinegar. So, we'll use a little bit of colored, we use a little white here. So, we're adding three quarters of a cup as you can of see, that vinegar. Is so here's the rest of our vinegar. Down we go. Okay. Ooh, that actually looks really cool. Yeah, good. I know it looks really cool. So the second step, in case you missed the first time, is we're gonna cinch the bag up and, and clip it. And now you're gonna hold it. Now we add our three tablespoons of baking soda. Sorry, I lost my measuring device for a second. All right, you don't one. Lose it. I don't wanna lose it. It's pretty important. Two and three. Um, um, how about you add a little more because you didn't have a full scoop last time. Oh, okay. So I'm being told to add a little bit more because I didn't have a full scoop. <laughs> yeah, measuring is important. Yes. All right. Now, shake it down a little bit. And you don't want to get um, the baking soda in those before because then it won't be Yeah. Yeah, yeah so we're, uh, we've are we discovered if you get too much baking soda in the zipper, it doesn't work as well. So, all right, so now make I'm going to make sure it's completely, oh, no, nope, not quite zipped. There we go, I think we're zipped. So now we're going to set it down. And That's a lot of water. Oh, it's vinegar. MJ is going to oh, take the clip off and give it a shake. And let it go. Woo! I like, and once again, you can use some water to put up your reaction. But yeah, we, it, we just like it like this. We like it like that. And it um, will, and it will just like end up like that little. Yeah. So you, uh, we, we recommend doing this outside. If you do it on the driveway or the sidewalk, it, uh, when it rains, it'll rinse off. You don't have to worry about any staining on your driveway or anything like that. So. And it will. And we'll do the same with food. Yeah, it'll be the same. So we want to thank you all for joining us today. Uh, keep an eye on the museum's Facebook page and our website. We are going to be offering Museum at Home for the next couple weeks. We'll be bringing a lot of cool content. You'll see me doing some more science this week. We have some live events. We'll be having some recorded events. You might we see will, me some more. You might see MJ some more. We will be having a page on our website to, uh, to dedicated to Museum at Home. Also, we'd love to see what you do. So you can use the hashtag TCM at home. So we'd love to see what you guys are doing. I know we're gonna be doing a lot more science and we're also doing some crafts and you know, of course we have to do our e-learning, but we'll get, to, we'll get to that too. So once again, thank you so much for joining us and we hope this provides 
some really fun learning opportunities for you and we're super excited at the museum to bring our mission into your home. So before we go, we have a joke for you. We have a joke because we love puns and jokes in our house and of course science ones are our favorite. So even when they're really bad. Even when they're really bad. So MJ, why shouldn't you trust an atom? They make up everything. They make up everything. Well, thanks again for joining us and see you next time for Museum at Home.